Hello everyone and welcome to Tea Time on PLUS TV Africa. My name is Efeo Lua Oshinke and I'm here with the clever and realistic Efeo Mai and the mature and ju judicious Nimi Dekombi. <laughs> and together we'll be ripping apart the biggest stories in the world of entertainment. How are you guys doing? I'm fine. Okay, let's oh, you like your... What do you think? I'm, I'm okay with You're okay with that? Yeah. You're okay I now. Okay. I think that's pretty balanced. I think balanced. I'm beginning to find your soft spot. Yep, 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 yep. Mm. You're mature. Yeah, so. yeah. You're quite mature. <laughs> I could give you that. Okay. Judicious, mm, kind of. Ah, so you thinking you when you that game put this? What? Yeah, Are you just, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I thought about it and I was like, okay, okay what's Sutta? So okay. I, I flowed with what? That's nice. We like that one. But how have you guys been so far? Well, you've been great, right? Yes, waiting for tomorrow. What? Already. Ready for tomorrow yes. already? Like, Today is not even over, you're ready. Ready for Friday. Friday makes Shit. me happy, guys. You don't Seriously, oh, even during this coronavirus time. Even this coronavirus time. For me, there's no so, difference. But really? Now that you're on the uh, island, yeah. why are you still bothered? Huh? Do you understand? Okay. I have to deal with Can I give you a microphone while you're at it? <laughs> Maybe put go on top of the building and screw it as well. <laughs> Rumpy. Okay. All right, so let's move into the jab wood. Okay, <laughs> so um, happy International Burgers Day still. And we would like to give a special shout out to Chef Aiz. I bet I had it a few pounds with your very delicious mm -hmm. burger. Yeah. Follow him on Instagram at Chef Aiz. That is C-H-E-F underscore H-E-I-S. E-H-I-S. Uh, Huh? E H I S. So what did I say? H H I S U A. You said something different. Oh, okay. Chef A is your shy, got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get straight into the business. Star Wars British Nigerian actor John Boyega is getting dragged on Twitter streets over remarks on his hatred for white racist. After he weighed on George Floyd's death, who was murdered by a police officer who knelt on his neck for over six minutes in America. But joining us virtually to speak on this is Joseph Okechuku, an actor and activist. Good afternoon, Joseph. Good afternoon. How are you guys Hi. doing today? We're very very well, thank you. Very, and very you? Well. Right. I'm doing wonderful. Thank God. All right. So um, we're, we're still on the um, George Floyd case <laughs> and um, what is the new development? Um, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump has called the FBI to do a quick investigation on that. But do you think that <laughs> um, all of this taking place now would change anything about the racism states in America? Well, it's really not going to change anything. And there's a reason why it's not going to change any much. The reason why it's not going to change anything is that the people who actually claim that there's a racial discrimination against them have not come to a point of realization that there's something that needs to be done from inside out. Mm. We're still actually embracing that victimhood. We are we still at the finger pointing level where we are still we always want to point the finger at somebody, but we don't want to look inward to see what is really wrong with us. And beyond that, on a, on an introductory level, there's so much more to this killing that meets the eye. And mm. if you want to go into that, well, I'll be happy to get uh, into that. Well, with you can give well. us a few insights into that. Let us just know a few things that we don't know about. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for me, um, if you have followed me uh, at all, or if you know anything about me, I'm a guy who thinks typically out of the box. And I, 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 don't, I don't talk what everybody wants to hear. And I've, I've got to tell you the truth. And I have that track record. So there's something, talking from the, 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 the point of view of a researcher, because I'm a researcher, right? There's something that we call the red flags. I don't know if you've ever heard about red flags, all right? So there's a type of politics that's playing out right now, and I'm not going to conclusively blame this on red flag operation, but I'm going to give you a slip, paint you a picture that will help you understand what is really going on. So several days ago, Joe Biden made one of the most, one of the most nauseating statement ever heard from a politician in American history. When he said that if you if you have a problem figuring who to vote into me and Trump, they then you went that. black. All right. Wow. And yeah. that was enough to sing the entire democratic vote for the yeah. 2023 elections. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, just a few days later, we have a cop who puts his knee on the neck of an innocent man, not necessarily innocent, 
But in this case, he actually not did violent, nothing right. compared to, yeah, nothing serious. I mean, you're talking about check, hot check or whatever. Why, why should that make anybody die? Mm. So it does not make any sense at all. And he had a hand in his pocket and he was there kneeling and our brother was crying and the people were there videoing that stuff and they were videoing it. And then the cops who came didn't do anything. They were just watching him do that. And after he, that was done, the guy just disappeared. And the next thing we heard was that he's been sad. Okay. So if you look at a guy who does intelligence research like me, I am going to scoff at that and go, oh, my gosh. The people don't even know what just happened. Mm -hmm. Today, you cannot hear anybody talk about the Joe Biden's UN black anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something is going on here. This, to me, and you will find this out in no time because there's an investigation going on now. This, to me, appears to be like a red flag. Mm -hmm. so and when red this flags is a are perpetuated, mm -hmm. they always use people we call the Manchurian candidate. Mm -hmm. So I see that cop as a Manchurian candidate. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, just to just to deviate from that a little bit because these red flags are obviously. Um, you people can argue with conspiracy, conspiracy can argue reaching or whatever. Yeah. But just to go a lot sure. more. On, let's talk about something that we know for sure, which is um, John Boyega, who came out and made a video live to his fans about this outrage, as it should be, because this attack wasn't just to, a black, to that particular um, um, man, black we so rest in peace. It's about everyone who has it's about the skin race, color. the black race. So he was very outraged and he took it really personally. But he mentioned a statement saying that he hates every white, white racist. racist person that exists. Obviously, that is very limited in the sense that it's not only white people who are racist, blah, blah, blah. But we can, we can dissect that in, in so many ways. Well, I wanted to know what your thoughts are on that. Do you think that that's a bit much for him to say? Or was he in his rights to be able to say that? If what you just said is what he said, I don't think he should be blamed for saying that. Mm. If somebody says, I hate all killers in the world, the person is not wrong. Yeah. If he says, I hate all white racists, he's right. Nobody should love a white racist. Mm. You shouldn't be loved if you are racist, okay? But if he says, I hate all white people, that's where I will have a problem with him. I personally don't like white racists. Neither do I like black racists. We actually have a lot of black racists as well, okay? So if somebody, if boy guy is saying, I don't like white racists, I stand with him on that. I also don't like white racists. And we do have a lot of them in the U.S. We have them in Europe. We have them everywhere. Yeah. But of course, most of the time when these things happen, a lot of people tend to take things overboard. They begin to fight everybody who is white. They start fighting everybody. Oh, all these white people don't like us. They hate us. But go and do your research and check all the reports on, on gun violence in America. 99% of the deaths in black neighborhoods are caused by black people themselves. Black on black. And that is not to excuse what happened to our beautiful, wonderful brother. I mean, if anybody should die, it shouldn't be George Floyd. That was a wonderful human being. When I saw the video, to be honest with you, as a strong man as I can be sometimes, I didn't have the heart to watch that video. It was so heart-wrenching. I couldn't stand oh, it. Right. Okay? Oh, right. But the point is that whenever things like this happen, our reaction to it is always awkward. We don't look inside. We kill ourselves more than any other white man could kill us. Yeah. And uh, another right. thing that Thank happens you. is when black people kill white, our people don't want to raise their voices. They don't want to do anything. The media doesn't cover it. So that these other guys can also see that there's the balance. But it's only when they kill us that you see all this huge media attention given to it. Right. Just three, Thank four, you. five days so ago, much, somebody was killed. Okay. Thank you so much, Joseph, for your yeah. time. We really appreciate you joining us on the show. And uh, thank you so right. much. All right. God bless you. God so bless we need you. to care, move on to the next story, and it is still on the social media buzz Singer Simi and LGBT activist BC Alimi are uh, at each other's throats. After Simi posted on Twitter, the singer had con condemned hate among blacks among blacks on social media and Alimi reminded her of a homophobic comment she made recently and now it is also hate bringing back Simi's tweets where she kind of implied that she is homophobic mm. so we're still on this black on black mm, and I wish I, I don't know if you can still let yeah. me talk about yeah like, but let's talk about um okay before we move on mm. so oh, Nikki, no, yeah. Touch yeah. oh yeah I, I actually wanted to talk about one of the things that um the fans of John Boyer the fans were mm. you know 
berating him for his statements. Mm. Their point was that's not the only form of racism that ex exists. And for me, I don't think that you can be racist against a white person. Mm. So that's what I wanted to ask him. I wanted to ask him how he feels about be, black yeah, people be, be being racist, racist that's a very to white people. Because I think that racism has to be institutional. It has to be systemic. It's not I have a prejudice yeah. against you. There has mm. to be like a level of power. To black people don't have the power to be racist against white uh, people. They don't have no, no, that, that's a table. Table. Yeah. I don't think no, no, black no. people no. can be racist against well, yeah, you can say well, that. Well, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a, a, they can a be massive prejudice. trail of people that follow that trail of thought. And I think there's racist. levels to it. But I wanted to just say that I didn't like his Joe Biden um, um, reach. I think that was a bit of reach. And that's why I, I asked that, him the those question. Are just conspiracy theories. Yes, because yeah. they, it's not like as if this person that died was the only person. He's the only person that we're talking about on social media. But men yeah. are dying on a regular basis before yeah. and after and during when Joe Biden made that statement. So for me, that was a bit of a reaching. But let's talk about Simi. I have to agree with what they're saying that it's definitely, people do that a lot when they go abroad and focus on people's problems in America and then we yeah. don't focus on our issues. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I'm, because I'm, I'm, I've lived like abroad with international people and stuff. So this conversation is in my circle, if that makes sense. And sometimes I just want to just out of, I don't want to say bad belly, but like I'm being really deliberate and saying, I don't want to talk about it because I feel like I have my own issues. Like black Nigerians have our own issue. Like should I bring up our issue because will you be this, um, you know, like gingered about mine as I am to yours? Like I understand America is powerful and there's influence and we're all global citizens, but I just feel like sometimes you know, not, I don't have to make my problem your problem, but if I'm going to be honest and say that Simi's um, tweet was a bit offensive, I mean, I'm not, I'm not someone that has shied away from the fact that I support the LGBTQ community in Lagos, Nigeria. So um, I have a, pro a serious problem with the fact that she's promoting that, especially for somebody that I hold really high um, esteem to. But I mean, it's to each man his own. You can't force everyone to believe something for whatever reason that they want to, mm -hmm. and she has a right to that. But if something is homophobic and it's infringing on somebody else's right to live how they want to live, then we have a different conversation yeah. to have. I, I actually know. resonate with what BC Anime is saying because to me, I feel like it is very funny. The truth is, before I became an ally to the LGBTQ community, it started from me believing that, okay, I had equal rights with, mm. you know, understanding the oppression that I've experienced as a woman mm. in Nigeria. Mm. If I can understand that oppression, yeah. if you can understand that oppression as a black person living yeah. in America, why can't you understand the oppression that the LGBTQ people face? Yeah. Why would you Why would you say, why are you selecting which mm. kind of oppression you would speak against? Yeah. So I understand where B.C. Alimi is coming from, where he points out to other. You cannot say, oh, human rights or black lives matter, and then when it comes to LGBTQ people, you are... Yeah, like saying, oh, they're mm -hmm. not, na it's not natural yeah. because those were a state. That was yeah. what you know she said once upon a time in a video. And then if you, if people, so and I understand people who are watching this from. now are saying that, but that's different is because of my faith, or whatever. The still, the, tr the truth still remains that we're not asking white people to love black people. We're saying don't be racist. Exactly. You don't have to understand us, okay. or understand our characters, but at least accept us. I don't say accept what people, what the the, um, the LGBTQ community are doing and who they are screwing. Let them but leave. Let them live their lives. Okay, so I like Simple. your choice of words because um, your boats agreeing to what each other is saying, right? But what you said that caught my attention was understanding, right? And if you remember T Simi's old tweets that came back, she said, I do not understand it. It seems unnatural to me. Mm -hmm. The same way you can understand, she doesn't understand. Mm -hmm. so what is there simple. not to... what, what is there not... What do you mean, what is there not to understand? She Check doesn't... your... Go and watch Discovery she Channel. She doesn't gay people understand. in all types of animals. What Are you going to force understand? her to understand? She so now, for instance, if a white person says to you, I don't understand. Black why are you dark skin? And why do you like... Why is your Skin so black. Is that okay? Why do you Simi like? Is, is that, that... not in America. She's in a part of the world where homosexuality is not legal. So I she's supposed to understand it's that not, if she lives in an environment, ignorance in is not excusable. Is Whether are you going to say, under a rock? Whether you live under a rock or you live wherever, so when, you, when, when, is not when slavery was legal. You're going to tell me that, that was a good enough excuse for a racist person to say, well, it was legal in my place and I just don't know. I didn't have, like, I couldn't use my brain to figure that out question. that shit. Okay. Ignorance is not excusable. I would say the exact same thing if, uh, for... Whether Simi. you live in Taringo or you live in Taraba, it's not excuse. You can't say, okay, because of this is where I come from, I don't want to understand where... Ex a especially when there are LGBTQ people in Nigeria, Nigeria who are suffering and uh, who are being oppressed. I know are crying out every single time. Are, are, gay, are homosexuals in Nigeria legal? 
Is that, that is what they are crying against. Exactly. That is until the oppression that they are suffering. Their problem isn't our problem. Wow. Ah. Until it is legal. You cannot be a human exactly. rights activist. If uh, you just uh, say that. Yes, until it is legal. How do you get it to be legal if it's not if your problem? If you are not crying out, if you are not fighting. Then let the activists do the what job. What you're right now. What you're saying. sign it and say homosexuality is now legal in Nigeria. You sound like a racist white man. You put it the table. Is that like a racist white man? That is some table shaking right now. No, it's not table shaking. It's just what it is. Let's call it a spade a spade. What was the spade? Well, what, what the I just spade? said. I that, said that it. That is not our problem. <laughs> I said it, period. And all this right. is where we call it a wrap. But remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Now to TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always goes to my co-anchor, Ife Omai and Nimi Dekombi. They're looking at me funny <laughs> for the amazing contribution and the entire production team. I am Ife Oluwa Shinkaya saying thank you for watching and stay safe.